Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for my top 10 lipsticks of 2021. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. So this actually was quite difficult for me to narrow it down just to 10. I started at 20 and I thought that's too many and then 15 and I thought, no, no, let's get this down to 10. I wanted to make it even smaller, but I feel like I would have left out too many wonderful things if I went down to five. So I went with 10 and I will be selecting my top lip of 2021 from this group of lipsticks. I'll be trying them all on for you as well as swatching side by side so you can see sheer versus opaque versus a glossier finish versus a more matte finish. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're gonna start off with one of the most sheer shades that I have. It's the Chantecaille Lip Chic in Bourbon Rose. Typically, I will wear this with a lip liner, which I'll show you at the very end. Um, but I wanna show you this just by itself so you can see how sheer it is, but what a pretty shade it is. So if you're not familiar with lip cheeks, they're a little bit glossier than a lip veil. It's a really pretty natural look, nice and hydrating. Again, you can see a little bit of that glossier finish, but I think it's a really fresh kind of lip. Very easy to wear, very easy to reapply just out during the day. So this is one that I would put in my bag and take with me, but it's one of those lip shades that goes with everything. And I think you'll see that in this kind of collection of top 10 because these are lipsticks that go with pretty much everything, which is why I think I use them over and over again. So again, this is the Lip Chic by Chantecaille in Bourbon Rose. Okay, next we got Victoria Beckham Beauty in the shade Spark. So you can see it here. So it looks kind of like deeper and cooler here, but once I apply it, you'll see that that's not the case. So this color is probably the closest color to my lip shade that I think I've found. So it just enhances that natural color, evens out the tone as well. Nice and hydrating without being too glossy. It's not as sheer as say something like Bourbon Rose, which I just tried on. Um, they kind of are related in terms of their shades. So here's Spark, here's Bourbon Rose. And then of course I'll show you a swatch side by side so you can see kind of the sheerness of one versus the opacity of another. So this is more opaque. Yeah, even though this is not a gloss, I wouldn't call this as glossy as something like the Lip Chic, there's a glossy element to this that makes it glossier than your typical lipstick. Again, this is Victoria Beckham Beauty in the shade Spark. If you watched the Natasha Denona palette video, you'll know I used the Hermes lipstick with that, number 21. So I thought I'd just insert this clip here instead of removing my lipstick and just to put it on again. So this has the most beautiful warmth about it. So if you like something with a little bit of rose, but also some warmth, I think this one is such a pretty one. This is one I'll pull for, again, actually quite a few of these at the beginning here are shades that I pull for when I'm not sure what's going to work with something. Um, so I knew this wouldn't compete with this palette since it had a little bit of warmth in the cheek as well. I thought this would be a really great pairing with it. So I'll pull for this one when I'm looking for a neutral look that's leaning more towards the warm side. I think this one's a beautiful one. I think this would look pretty with the brown eye shades as well. In fact, I think this would work with the Natasha Denona dark palette as well because that one still has some warmth to it. So it's kind of like a neutral warm for me, but has been one of my definitely most used lipsticks of the year. We're going to go in with one of my favorites from the past. This is Charlotte Tilbury Glowing Gen. I know that these are probably looking very similar, but hopefully the swatches side by side are showing you just which ones have a little bit more warmth, a little bit more cool, or a little bit more gloss to their finish. But these are just so easy to wear and always look so beautiful. So again, Charlotte Tilbury Glowing Gen. Okay, we're gonna start to get into more dramatic lip shades. These are some of the easier dramatic lip shades to wear. I think that sometimes for me, when the lip is so bold, that's kind of all you see. So I feel like I have to be a little bit careful with bolder shades. 
Um, but this one is a Lip Chic by Chantecai in Damask. This is the one out of all of the newer shades that came out at this time in the fall. It is one I thought I would use the least, but actually is the one I've used the most. So this one I love because it's like a dark cherry kind of a shade. There's a little bit of a blue tone in there, but not too much. So it's still very wearable, still provides a really beautiful color on the more dramatic side, but not unwearable. Sometimes I think those are harder for me to wear. Like I said, this is a very wearable shade for me that goes really well with a minimal eye for me. So I love this one. Again, this is Chantecaille's Lip Chic, the Glossier Formula in Damask. And I wanted to mention another reason I love this for an evening lip is because it's so easy to reapply. As if you're out, you're at a dinner or something like that, this one's really, really easy to reapply. Wears evenly as well because it does have that glossier formula to it. So there's something patchy about it. Sometimes with darker shades, you can get a patchier wear on them, but that one's really, really easy to again, reapply and wears beautifully. But yeah, you can see there's like a berry tone there. Okay, next we have a uh, Chanel. I had so many Chanel lip shades I wanted to pick, but I think I, oh, I narrowed it down to two here because I had like five that I was looking at. Yeah, so there's, I think Chanel probably, between Chanel and Chantecaille, those are my favorite lip formulas and shades. We have 192 Profondieu, and this is in the Rouge Allure formula. You can see this one has been worn quite a bit. <laughs> Now this one is more opaque than say a Lip Chic, but still has a nice kind of fresh finish to it. It's not matte. Um, so I don't have many mattes. And let me think as we go through these if I have any. Um, I prefer something with just a little bit of glow to it. My lips typically need a little bit more hydration anyway, so that's why I like that kind of a finish. Again, this is 192 by Chanel Profondieu. My lips are starting to get a little bit irritated here. <laughs> I only have a few more left to go though. So we're gonna go in with this. It's by Sisley. I love their lipstick formulas. I've tried maybe, how many? A few shades and of the shades that I've tried, I really like them. So this is number 43 Rouge Capri. And this is one of those lipsticks that works really well too if you just kind of dot it on like this. I did that because I ended up with a little bit too much on the bottom there, but to control something that's a little bit more bold, it's a good way to apply. With bolder colors, I think there's a potential of it looking severe um, and that can be impacted by other things like the hair and the eye makeup as well. But one thing I like to do with a more bold lip is just to pat it on like that. That was actually kind of a mistake. I didn't mean to do that, but then I thought, oh no, this is gonna look better because it kind of softens that edge. And I think that's a nice modern take on a lip like this. Again, Sisley 43 Rouge Capri. Next up, House of Siage make some of my very favorite red lip shades. They do reds really, really well. There are so many of them. I forgot to show you, if you're not familiar with House of Siage lipsticks, you can buy a bow case like this, very fancy, the fanciest case that I have for lipstick, and then the lipsticks are interchangeable. So you can buy refills, so you don't have to buy this every time. They have so many lovely shades as well as designs. So if you wanna really treat yourself, I pick up one of these cases and then a red shade. Again, there are so many, so you can pick ones that are blue based or warmer reds. This one's kind of in the middle. Really comfortable formula to wear as well. It's a more traditional lipstick, but still has a nice hydrating effect. Now this one has been a favorite before. It's because it has such a magical quality about it in that not only is it a beautiful shade, but it makes everything else look better, including my complexion. So I'm not quite sure what the magic is in here, but you'll see once I add this that it enhances my complexion. This is Clay de Poe 103 Legend. 
really beautiful, stunning red shade. This is their lipstick cashmere, so it's not as glossy as the other ones I've been trying. So even though it's that cashmere formula, it's still really hydrating and comfortable on the lips. And I think that's the key to this color as well. It is such a bold standout color, but it's not glossy. I feel like if it was glossy, it would take away the sophisticated overall impact of this lip. I think it is ultra sophisticated. And I think that it's a lovely evening lip. And I first saw this color on Gemma Chan. That's where I first spotted this color and I thought I wanna try it because it looked so pretty on her, but I think every makeup looks pretty on her. But I thought I wanna try that red lip because I noticed it right away as something special. So that's why I still love this lip. I think it looks great against the teeth. Again, the complexion looks enhanced. So I don't know if you notice that there's something in there and I cannot pinpoint it. It must be some specific shade in this red. Usually I can pick out the tone or some quality in a lipstick that makes it work really well and I can't pinpoint on this one what exactly it is. So that's why I call it magic because I can't figure it out. And I feel like a lipstick that you don't see on a lot of people. This is the one I chose for the opening and the closing of this video if you're wondering what I was wearing. So again, this is Clay de Peau 103 Legend. Okay, I thought this might be a good one to illustrate the power of this formula. So this is a Chanel Le Rouge Duo. This is an intense caramel. So even though there's quite a bit of color there on me, it looks like a very light almost color on me. And a trick with lip color like mine is that there's a lot of pigment, there's a natural lip line. And so these do a really nice job of being a lighter shade on me, but actually being able to say, say, see the color because sometimes what happens is I'll add a color that's a little bit lighter than my skin tone and you can still see my lip color underneath and you don't see the true color. But with this product, you can see the color. Um, and this is for those of us who don't love liquid lipsticks. This is the only one I like. The Dior one I've recently been trying was comfortable, but this is still more comfortable because it's a two-step. So if you haven't seen this before, there's a doe foot applicator on one side. So I'm gonna apply that first. So then you just let it set for a moment. This again is in intense caramel. Okay, now that that's set, you can see it's more like matte looking. Then you take the other side, there's a clear gloss on this side, and you just apply it over. This is Chanel Le Rouge Duo in intense caramel. So I know not the most exciting lip, but it's a really great one for something kind of neutral as well as with a smoky eye. I love this lip shade with a smoky eye. I think it's so pretty. Okay, one last thing I wanted to show you because I want to call this like a lipstick accessory almost, is this Lip Contour Fill by Chantecaille. Now my lips are quite chapped from doing all of that swatching. Um, so this really does a nice job of smoothing everything over hydrates without being like that greasy feeling. I forgot to include this in the game changer. It's one of those game changers because it makes a wonderful product even better. So it'll make a lipstick even better because it provides a nice smooth surface for that lipstick to apply. And I did want to show you the natural lip. This is like a lip accessory as well. The lip definer in natural because if you haven't seen this before, it neutralizes this exterior shade And you can see on the swatch, it's actually quite warm, but that's what I need to neutralize this. So that is the lip liner. So you can see why I like this so much because I just apply it to the exterior and it kind of matches the rest of my lip color. And then I can go in with other shades and then to have the lip shade show through is fine because it'll be a nice even tone at least. So I'm gonna go in with, again, Bourbon Rose. I tried that on without either of the accessories with this, um, but now I'm gonna add it on top and you can see why I love this combination so much. So that base with the lip contour fill as well as the natural works with any lip shade. So it just kind of is like the foundation for my lipsticks 
if I want to go ahead and really perfect it. And again, I went on top of those two with Bourbon Rose Lip Chic by Chantecaille. And that is it for my top 10 lipsticks of 2021. I'd love to know what yours are. Please list them down in the comments section below. I always love to read them because you might remind me of something I may have missed and I may have missed something. I looked through all of my lipstick though for this today. I may have one hiding in a bag somewhere. So if you are wondering why I didn't feature something that you think I talked about a lot or you know that I love, I may have forgotten it. So please let me know if there's something you're wondering about. As it stands, I will be picking one lipstick from this group to end up as my number one lipstick of 2021. But that is it for today's video, so please take care of each other. Stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.